Oh, baby, how you doing? You know, I'm gonna come right to the chase on some women. Hey, YouTube, what's up? It's Black Onyx. Um, today I'm going to, this video is basically going to be about hair types. Understanding your hair type and knowing your hair type, basically. Um, the, the question kind of arose because of a request from Angeeked, which is A-N-G-E-E-Q-T. She asked me on one of my videos what my hair type was. Now, I've always just um, thrown my hair type into being into the fours. But for this video, I was like, you know what, let me make sure I do proper research so I'll be able to give accurate information on what my hair type is. A lot of people want to know my hair type so that they can know if the products that I'm suggesting will work for them or if it may or may not. So that was the purpose of doing this video. I also know that a lot of newly naturals are trying to figure out what their hair type is and have absolutely no idea. Don't worry, y'all. I've been there. So, um... I've looked on a couple websites just to give you an idea. You can try www.naturallycurly.com slash hair dash types. Um, there are also um, rockyournaturalhair.blogspot.com has information on hair types. But the best of the best, which is one of my favorite websites, is longhaircareforum.com. I just went on there, typed in hair types, and figured out what mine was based on information. They even have pictures on there. Um, the person who posted this, um, basically, it's called FIA's Hair Typing System. So this is how anyone can figure out what hair type that they have. Um, based on this information, first of all, let me tell you what my hair type is. Um, based on this information, I found out that I have 3B hair, B as in boy, in the front and in the back. And in the middle of my hair, I have 4A hair. So the 3B hair in the front and the back are more bouncy ringlets. And in the middle, um, this portion of my hair, I have 4A, which are tightly coiled S curls. Um, I also learned from this um, typing system that my hair, my hair, um, Hair strand is medium. Um, some of them are coarse, like in the middle, but majority of them are medium coarseness. And I also have a type 2 normal hair. So let me go ahead and try to help you out um, using this system to figure out what your hair type is. Um, there are three classifiers to figure out what your hair type is. The first classifier is your curliness, or lack thereof. And I'm going exactly from FIA's hair typing system. Um, the straight ones, are type 1. So 1A is if you have thick straight hair. 1B is if your hair is straight but with a slightly body wave, just enough to add volume. It just doesn't look wavy. And 1C hair is straight body with straight body wave or two visible S wave. So like if you have, basically this is more for Caucasian, Asian people, etc. Um, they have like a little wave right here but the rest of their hair is straight. Now, type 2 hair is wavy hair. Type 2A is loosely stretched out S waves throughout your hair. So it's like waves. Type 2B is shorter, more distinct S waves, like from braiding um, damp hair, you know, that kind of wave. And type 2C is distinctive S waves that have odd spiral curls, like, around. So, all right, most of us... Um, most African Americans fall in the next two categories, which are type 3 and type 4. Type 3 hair is curly hair. And 3A has big, bouncy, loose spirals. Um, type 3B, which is what I am, has like bouncy ringlets. Um, think of Kelisa's hair. Um, my hair in the front, direct front, and in the back. Those are the kind of curls that I have naturally. Or the girl from Half and Half, the... Um, one of the sisters and half and half the TV show. Um, now, if you have type 3C hair, you have tight corkscrews. So, it's like little, tiny little curls, and they're really, really tightly coiled. Kind of like if you take out the inside of a pen, and you see those little curls in them? Those. Um, now, type 4 hair is really, really curly ones. Um, 4A is what the middle of my hair is, and that's like tightly coiled S curls. So they're really, really, really tight. Sometimes they can even be um, 
sometimes they can just look like a big piece of hair that's been rolled up like this. And um, to compare that hair type, um, let's see, who has Nadia Turner. That's whose hair type I have in the middle. Nadia Turner is a singer. Google her, okay? She was on American Idol. Um, gorgeous hair, though. <laughs> um, now, the second classifier of what hair type you have would be um, what most of your hair strands look like. If you, you have fine hair, if your hair strands are basically, if you hold them up to the light and you can basically see through them, meaning they're translucent, translucent, if your hair sheds and you you have to like take a microscope or something to find your hair strand, then your hair is mostly fine. Um, she says on here, Scandinavian people are the ones that have um, fine, silky um, hair. Medium hair, I have kind of medium slash coarse hair, but anyway, medium hair strands are, are they're not fine or coarse. Um, they can be found on a lot of um, Caucasians, which is why I don't think I identify with that. But then again, my hair is not super, super coarse. Anyway, um, if you roll your, she says to take a piece of your hair and roll it between your thumb and your index finger. Medium hair feels like a cotton thread, like a piece of thread. And if you take one strain of your hair, you'll be surprised of what kind of hair you may have. Because I'm rolling mine, I thought it would be like coarse, but... It feels like a little piece of cotton thread. So that's medium hair. Coarse hair are thick strands that if, when your hair sheds, you don't really have to look hard to find where that shedded hair is. Um, a lot of African American, Asians, um, basically those types of people are the ones that have coarse hair, which are like me, you know? <laughs> All right. Um, roll your fingers to test if you have coarse hair. You can also roll your one strand of your hair between your thumb and your index finger. If it feels hard and wiry, and if you can actually hear it when you're rolling it, you have coarse hair. Now, the very last classifier to determine what kind of hair type you have would be your overall volume of your hair. Um, Fia basically says to take your hair and put it into a ponytail. Even, now listen, if you are newly natural and you don't really have as much hair to pull into a ponytail, just put, put, pull as much as you can into a ponytail. Um, you have thin hair if you have... Now, basically, you're going to also um, take your ponytail and measure the circumference, circumference of the ponytail, okay? If you have less than 2 inches or less, or five, less than 5 centimeters of hair in that ponytail holder measuring the circumference, then you have thin hair. If you have about 2 to 4 inches or 5 to 10 centimeters of hair in that ponytail holder measuring the circumference, then your hair is normal, type 2. You have type 3 hair, which is thick, if you have more than 4 inches or more than 10 centimeters of hair in that ponytail holder. So, once again, thank you um, to the person that posted on longhaircareforum.com posted Fia's hair typing system because that helped me out a lot to finally determine that I don't just have type 4 hair. Now I know that I have type 3B and a mixture of type 4A and um, type 2 normal hair. So if you folks have any questions, feel free to ask me. I mean, I have pages and pages of information now on hair types, so I'm trying to be able to better understand it. Also check Long Hair Care Forum out, and hopefully this was helpful to someone out there. Bye, YouTube. And thank you to Angie Cute for um, asking me that question. Thanks. Later. Oh, baby, how you doing? You know, I'm going to come back to the chase, huh? Some women were made, but me, myself, I like to...